Human history is staunched with the use of masks in countless ways, for unlimited purposes. From ordainhood to hunting to death, masks have permeated the entirety of history. Their close relation to our lives has even allowed them to stay relevant to the present day. And with the addition to medical discovery and technological developments, their usage has become a necessity. Often used in the arts as a synonym of disguise, found within stories of villainy versus heroism, even portrayed as possessing magical powers. But I digress. The artifact in focus on this video is one which we feel is of particular significant historical importance. Known as the Mycenaean Death Mask of Agamemnon, it was discovered by German archaeologist Heinrich Schliemann. Yet, it must be noted, under certain controversies. Having already discovered the location of the legendary Troy, Schielmann's next expedition was to discover the final resting place of Agamemnon, the king of Mycenae, the person who legendarily led the Greek forces during the Trojan War. However, many have come forward after looking into his work, claiming that there is no way he discovered this long-lost tomb. Thus, the true identity of the original owner of this mask is now a hotly debated topic. The named Mask of Agamemnon is clearly not the most visually stunning ever found, King Tut's death mask holding that title for many. However, the fact that it exists in its primitive form, and of such a substantial weight, leads us to believe that whichever ancient civilization created this mask a very long time ago, and whoever it was for, had impressive power, probably at a time just post-Stone Age. According to Heinrich Schliemann, according to Pausanias, there were so-called underground chambers of Atreus in Mycenae. We have in the past covered the astonishing architecturally advanced design of the treasury of Atreus, its enormous lintel and glass-like perfection of the blocks laid within at the time of its creation. Yet these so-called underground chambers supposedly hide treasures of enormous proportions. Could this ancient mask be just a fragment of one of these legendary hordes? When he found these fragments, of what we suspect to be larger treasures, he stated, quote, The mask was made of a thick sheet of near-pure gold, which was then hammered against a wooden background. A sharp tool was used to then chisel the finer details. The mask depicts the face of a man with an oblong face, wide forehead, long fine nose, and tightly closed thin lips. Details of the eyebrows, mustache, and beard are visible. Near the ears, two holes were made so that the mask could be held over the deceased's face. Of the five masks I found, this was the only mask showing a bearded man," said Schliemann. Thus, his conclusion was that it had belonged to Agamemnon. We find the mask's existence, regardless of the claimed previous owner, and, indeed, the legends of still lost treasure, highly compelling.